time to bust season three myths in creative mode, and we've got 21 we gotta test out. Some of these are crazy. For the first myth, we're bringing back drift boards. Apparently, Kit's shockwave launcher makes you go flying. Okay, here we go. First try. Up. Whoa! It works! Oh my gosh, I didn't think it was gonna work, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Can we stick this landing? Hold on. Wait for it. No. Wait, wait. I gotta see what the top score I can get is. Whoa! Okay, 3.2 million. Not bad. That myth is definitely confirmed. The next myth is that there's problems with the water device. So apparently, the issue is that you can go in and enable this in all modes, and then, oh my gosh, it instantly gets you into the swimming mode. When you make this bigger, so say we make this 10 by 10, and then guess what? You can't, like, phase out of it. Like, you're forced to swim. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, like, I've got my phone on, and then I go in, and it instantly makes me swim, so I can't go down and edit my water. Like, I can't even select it right now. Like, I'm trying to even to, like, delete this. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was gonna... Oh, yeah, I picked it up. <laughs> that is a terrible bug, but look, I can delete this now. Woo! If I had made that any bigger, I would never have gotten it. That myth is confirmed. Since we're talking about water, I've made this cube a 4x4 so I can actually select and move it. There's a myth that you can use the jetpack in water and the inflatable in water. Well, let's test this out. Let's do the jetpack first. So I'm gonna see if I can fly into the water over here. There we go. Oh my gosh, you can totally use it. You can totally fly through it. I mean, look at that. My jet is totally on. That's awesome. You can't start it once you're in the water though, but uh, you can fly through it. That's cool. Okay, let's try the inflatable. Here we go. All right, let's jump into the water from the side there we go and uh i mean you just float right up to the top let's try going from underneath it and then i mean i you can't do anything honestly you can't even jump in the water when you have the inflatable on i think you do move a little faster though that's kind of cool it's a good flotation device the jetpacks myth is confirmed and the inflatable myth is busted there's also a myth that if you get into a UFO and pick up a car and then dip it in the water, something happens. We're gonna dip the car in the water here and then what happens? I mean, it's just sitting there, no big deal. Okay, I don't know. Wait, what the heck? It just disappeared. Oh, look, the car spawned back out on a spawn pad. Whoa, so you cannot even dip the car in. So that myth is definitely confirmed. Woohoo! Okay, there's another myth that the pinball bumpers here don't work underwater. Oh, I have a hard time believing that, but let's try it real fast. So that pinball is definitely underwater. And I don't really know how to get this to activate. Okay, oh yeah, look, they still work underwater. That myth is busted. Last water myth here is that you can fish in the water without having a fishing hole. Well, let's wait and see if we can actually catch anything here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just caught some wood. <laughs> yeah, you can totally fish just out of water. That myth is totally confirmed. Okay, this next one's kind of strange. Supposedly the fortress prefab. The drill piece covers a large part of the interior, which did not happen in the Battle Royale version. Uh, I mean, this all looks identical to me. Here's an image of it. I, I don't know, guys. That looks exactly the same. And the interior looks the same as well. I mean, I dropped here a bunch of times. So, sorry guys, that myth is busted. Now, there's another myth that you can take out one wall in the fortress and it will completely destroy the whole thing. But I don't know which wall it's supposed to be. Maybe if I take out the bottom ramps? No, that's not it. Maybe if I take out that wall? No, that's not it. What about that wall? I mean, oh, there we go. Actually, that kind of worked. Oh my gosh, the whole thing's blowing up. At least anything that was uh, attached to the grid blew up. All these other pieces are just kind of like props. Okay, that one is confirmed then. Next myth is that the problematic works on the trees and boulders. Let's try this out here. Oh, wait, can you actually become tree oh it looks like you could for a second but i'm clicking on it and you cannot become the movable tree or boulder maybe you can once you knock it down no you can't become it once it's knocked down what is happening with these things look they're all bugged out now okay once i replace it down it whoa whoa guys the problematic has created all sorts of weird bugs look at this i can like run through this now like what let's see i'm gonna move this one and it leaves like a shadow problematic totally busted this wait wait i'm reloading back into my island here and oh my gosh it still has the weird like copies i'm gonna try and reset the lobby okay we're back in here and it looks like everything is back to normal see i can pick it up and place it down let's see if we can duplicate our glitch here so we're gonna highlight that and try to become it and look it totally busted when you click on it what in the world guys that is such a strange glitch <laughs> well we've got a new glitch but the myth that you can become them is busted Okay, we got another problematic one, but if you become a supply drop, then supposedly you fly across the map. We're gonna have to start the game for this one. Okay, here comes our supply drop. It's uh, dropping down from the sky. Okay, we're gonna pick up our problematic and let's see what happens here. Oh, wow, you can actually become it. I wasn't sure you were able. Whoa, 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 guys. Oh, okay, I can't, wow, I just hit the space bar and you can totally fly around. Oh my gosh, what is this myth? <laughs> this is insane. Okay, I ran into my structure here. I can't move, but if I jump, then I can keep flying. I can't believe this is 
is a true myth. That myth is confirmed, guys. The next myth is that the UFO can pick up physics, boulders, and trees. Uh, no. Yeah, it can't pick up the tree or the boulder. Maybe if we start the game, though, and knock them over, then we can pick it up with the UFO. Okay, let's try the tree first. Here we go. Oh, yeah, you can totally pick them up. At least once it's knocked, you can pick it up. Try the boulder real fast. Yep, you can totally pick up the boulder, too. Oh, that's cool, actually. And then we can throw the boulder and it rolls and stuff. That's awesome. That myth is confirmed as well. All right, the next myth is that the new, like, mushroom galleries here glow when it's nighttime. So I've set to 1 a.m. Oh, yeah, they definitely have a glow to them. Wow, those look so cool. I mean, I kind of suspected this would be true. I'm glad I actually checked it out finally. Myth confirmed. Okay, this next one's not really a myth. It's a question. But they wanted to know how many chickens you can kill with a boulder. So let's uh, set it up here at the top. We've learned that it's all about velocity with these boulders. We're going to spawn as many chickens as we can along here. I think the max is 40, but uh, they should all be in the harm's way. All right, our chickens are spawning. In. there's a whole bunch right there holy cow they're all just lining up for me okay let's uh let's hit this out of the way and then let's see what happens oh wait okay it's killing some of them three four five oh, six okay it bounced over a bunch but i counted six in a row it doesn't just waste them all if they're all in a brunch like this though that was actually kind of hilarious all right, this next one has to do with ballers and drift boards supposedly if you uh ride a drift board on top of a baller and the baller will roll with the drift board let's try this we're gonna get right on top <laughs> okay i don't know about that guys yeah i either am not good oh wait wait it kind of rolled for a second i'm just not good enough to stay on top of the baller okay wait 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 oh my gosh okay we're staying on top but uh uh, this is not rolling, really. Uh, yeah, okay, that myth is busted. Okay, next myth is that cars can't break down trees. Okay, we're gonna run right into a tree. Oh, whoa, it totally broke down the tree, guys. Let's try the boulder. We're gonna ram right into it. Here we go. Boom. Oh, yeah, that totally worked. And before we move on, I want to line a bunch of these up. And then we're gonna see how many we can ram through. Oh, just a couple. Regardless, guys, of how many we can ram through, that myth is busted. Okay, the next myth is that boulders cannot knock over trees, and I don't know why that wouldn't be possible. As long as environment damage is on, they should be able to knock over trees. Yeah, it totally knocks over the trees, like, instantly. Actually, I'm wondering how many trees it can knock through. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's like an instant kill. Oh my goodness, like, even just, like, a few hits, the trees are just falling over. Yeah, this myth is completely busted. Next myth is that the prop mover actually works on boulders and trees. I don't know why I haven't tested this yet, but oh my gosh, it does. Wait a second. I gotta see how this actually works. Oh my gosh, look, they're totally moving, but oh my, <laughs> the top of the trees glitched. Wait, wait, I wanna see what happens though when I hit it off. Okay, wait, okay, here we go. We're damaging the boulder and boom, wait, it disappeared. And look, the boulder's rolling off over there. What? Oh wait, is that the same thing with the tree? Okay, wait, we gotta hit the tree down. Here we go, three, two, one, boom, and look, the tree's falling over there. So, I mean, it works, but it's glitched. So the Myth is confirmed. Right, these last two myths require another player, so I've got mustard with a capital U tests here. It's just a default account I've made to do tests like this. <laughs> the first myth is that if you turn into a prop, you cannot ride on top of a car. So my bot here is gonna drive the car, and I'm gonna become the rock. Uh, so let's uh, jump on the car and let's drive away. Okay, yeah, you can totally ride on the car. Yeah, guys, this myth is busted. <laughs> okay, the next myth has to do with the problematic in cars, but the myth is that you can drive on someone that is a giant racetrack. So my my butt here is gonna become the racetrack. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's insane. All right, here it goes. Uh, the final test. Can we drive on it? And no. Guys, you cannot drive on that. It's pretty funny that you can become a racetrack, but this myth is busted.